Good morning, awesome prayer partners. It's Thursday, and it's time for us to confess guilt as we continue our Bible plan, The Anchor in Anxiety. If you're anxious about your marriage, are you being obedient to Christ in your marriage to honor your wife or your husband? If you're obedient to the Lord and trust God with your marriage, you will have a lot less anxiety in it. It will be a blessing instead of a burden to you. Are you worried about finances? Are you faithful to God with your finances? If you're not obedient on the path of your finances, then you're going to be anxious about it because it is up to you. The best way to stop being anxious about your finances is to say, God, it's all yours. Not just 10%, but 100% yours. And I'm trusting you with it. I want to be faithful and able to give. It's not about giving to the church or to a ministry because God's broke and he needs your money. It's about you not being anxious. If you're disobedient in your spending, and you always buy the biggest and the best, of course you're going to be anxious because you're enslaved to Visa instead of being a servant to Jesus. Question, how do we seek God during anxiety? Our passion. If our passion is not Jesus, then we're asking for anxiety. We have to be passionate about the things of God. Seek first the kingdom of God. Do not worry about tomorrow the way you don't have to worry about tomorrow is by seeking first the kingdom and his righteousness. His kingdom his righteousness. And then as you're seeking that, you're letting God take care of things. I seek, I trust, and love the Lord. But I still wake up at two in the morning. I've got the right perspective. I'm walking the right path. I'm passionate for Jesus more than anything else. But I'm still waking up at 2 in the morning. At times, I'm still anxious. What do I do with that? Here is what I do in those moments. I get out of the bed, go down to the study, kneel down on the couch we have there, and I use it as my altar. I just call out to the Lord in prayer. And he quotes, What am I worried about, Lord? What is going on here? What do I need to give to you? And that sofa becomes an altar where I lay things down. That is what the gospel is. I've laid my life down before Jesus, and I've taken up his life in me. So now I have the security of Christ in my heart. Isn't that a beautiful lesson? Our passion for God helps us to release the anxiety in our heart. Let's pray. Lord, we confess that our anxiety comes when we're not being obedient to you. We confess that if we're struggling in our marriages, the 
question is, are we passionate about Christ and the things of Christ? Are we so passionate that we're willing to be obedient? Are we passionate, God, about what you say in your word? That we want to follow it and we don't use excuses or say that we're only human or that everybody sins or that God knows our hearts. Are we using those excuses for the reason why we're not going to be faithful? Well, then, God, the message today said we're asking for anxiety. We're looking for it. But I thank you, God, for the relief that we can be passionate for the things of God. Seeking after them will help us to stay committed and disciplined and focused on what you have for us. But also, God, if we're waking up at 2 a.m., if, if our sleep is disturbed, if we're still not settled on it, we pray today, Lord, what are we afraid of? Why are we anxious? What's in our hearts that's not like you? Lord, turn wherever we are into an altar where we can call on your name because we truly want the security of Jesus Christ in our hearts. By the power of the Holy Spirit and the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And in Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful day, prayer partners. And as always, enjoy Jesus.